pain it was putting on me emotionally, like the disappointment week in and week out. So I just kind of tuned out. I'd still watch the games, but I just tried to shut it out of my life as much as I could. And, uh, dude, you know, the, the jazz general manager was saying before the season that, like, this is our championship window. You know, we got Donovan Mitchell, who's an all-star, Rudy, who's an all-star, Mike Conley, who's incredible, Boyan Bogdanovich, who was a borderline all-star and is, I mean, in my opinion, arguably our second best player after Rudy. Um like, dude, I mean, I, I was expecting better than the fourth seed. If we get the fourth seed, I'll be extremely disappointed. If we're anything worse than the third best team in the NBA or second, fourth best team in the NBA, I'll be disappointed. Well, I don't know if you'll have to be worrying about that anytime soon because Woj just tweeted that the NBA is suspending the season. Oh, geez. I don't know what that means, but the NBA has suspended its season, I guess. Well, shoot. Like, what? Well, what is this? Like, what does this mean? What? Granted, like, I mean, you, this is very like, I am just seeing this. We don't have the facts. We're not those your hard hitting journalists, but this is just total reaction. Like, what does this mean? Like, <laughs> dude, I think that just means that they're done. I mean, I don't know. They probably won't play playoffs, but I mean, do you give out an MVP? Like, it has to be LeBron. Like, or do they just like finish the season like, like later, like in July or August? I don't know, man. I, I, I doubt it because then they'd have to do training camp and then play again. Yeah, I mean, like that's, that's totally like, fair. That'd be like having a 110 game regular season or 100, you know, 100 game regular season. Dang, that sucks that I got Miami Heat 2020 NBA champions tattooed on my back. <laughs> I go back and. <laughs> yeah, <dude. laughs> yeah. but, um... I got Donovan Mitchell's autograph as a tramp stamp, dude. <laughs> right on my bikini line. 2020 MVP. (laughs) (laughs) This is this is so insane. Like ah, it's like that episode in the office. Do you do you watch The Office? Have we have we? Yeah, yeah, I've seen The Office three or four. Yeah, it's like it's like the office. It's like the Office episode when Kev. I don't I don't remember what like the preface or what happened before. It's just but when Kevin just starts yelling, what does it all mean? Like what (laughs) is happening? So, oh, man. Speaking and, of which, uh, you wanted to you wanted to grill me about my Seinfeld take earlier. Okay, yeah. Oh my, okay, Jordan. You, I love you. I love you like a brother. And um, serious sit down right now. I, I consider you a very good friend at this point. But okay, um, let let's talk <laughs> about this, bro. Let let's talk about this, and then we'll get into some mailbag questions. But bro, like, you don't like Seinfeld? Okay, here's here's the honest truth, okay? Satan. I I find Larry David funny. I <laughs> find Jerry Seinfeld funny. I find the TV show Seinfeld to be kind of bland. I'm not saying I'm not saying it's bad. But what I'm saying is I think it was one of those things that was really really great in its time and then it kind of got passed up and people don't like admit that. But for nostalgia reasons, they're like, oh, in its time, it was the greatest. So therefore, it is the greatest still. It it really it like I, I hear what you're saying. I, I feel like the humor is dated. Like when I I'm not it, saying it wasn't ever funny, but I'm saying when I watch it, it's very. I don't know. The bits just kind of drag on too long and the humor is a little too dry to I don't know. You know, it just yeah. doesn't do it for me, man. I, no, I've never I, watched I, Seinfeld I, and like loved it. And and I and I completely understand with like I feel like um it, the the humor definitely could be a little dated and I feel like um that kind of humor doesn't resonate with maybe kids coming up today. Um yeah. and and I feel like you have to know that kind of humor. Like you have to understand like what like Larry like Larry David's humor. You have to like get that because um and 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 maybe it's like more of a of an East Coast thing too because um you know there's there's a lot of my West Coast friends who they, they watch Seinfeld or they watch Curb Your Enthusiasm and they don't laugh they don't get it and I'm over here dying because I know like these jokes that they're telling um and and I don't know I my I remember just watching it as a kid um, with my dad like every single day and then um, I started watching it on my own I've probably seen every episode 
millions of times. It's it'll always be my favorite show next to Entourage and The Office. But dude, I mean G- George Costanza, man, like I, I am like I am like George. I, well, I someone tweeted a few weeks ago that I'm the Mormon version of Larry David, and that I want to get that tweet framed. <laughs> um, like that, it, that was the funniest thing I had ever seen. Like, cause I've heard that before. Like yeah. Marshall, you're, you're, you're like a Larry David. Cause I'm just, I don't know how I am. I'm just weird, but it's, I just find that humor just so funny, bro. Like okay. in George Costanza, his crazy freakouts. Like I, I do that all the time. Like, yeah. um, I don't know. I, I, I can't even explain its greatness. It's like watching, um, Ray Allen shoot the basketball. It's just so pure. It's like you can't even describe it. You just have to watch. I I definitely tend to resonate more with like I don't know like so I think back to all the the funniest movies that I would watch when I was growing up, right? And then I started to get into like the like the more crude stoner comedy type stuff, you know, like Seth Rogen movies or like I love Jonah Hill. Like to me, Jonah Hill. I could watch him walk down the street and I'd find it humorous. Like that, that yeah. dude is hilarious to me. So like, that's the kind of stuff that really makes me laugh. And now when I rewatch these shows that I thought were so funny when I was growing up, like it just feels dated, man. Like, no, I, I, I get that. I, when I watch I, Madison, like it's funny still, mm-hmm. but I'm just like, man, this, this isn't as funny to me as like forgetting Sarah Marshall is, you know, or this isn't, <laughs> funny to me is like this is the end oh so. my gosh that's one of my all-time favorite movies see yeah i so i i mean i love like the seinfeld stuff but like chris farley is also like my favorite actor of all time so i love that kind of comedy and then i also love like um like will ferrell and vince vaughn and then those guys and then i i also Dude, i love, love i love seth rogan and i love um jonah hill like i freaking watched uh I watched Pineapple Express the other night, and it was just so, so funny. And, um, you know, I've never seen Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Really? Dude, that's like... Never seen it. Okay, if you ever go through, a, like, a really bad breakup, and, you know, you're just kind of being a sad sap for a few weeks, like people are, you know, that's... It's, yeah. it's like, the best movie for that, you know, that and Swingers. I, I had one my freshman. Good. Hey, hey, good on that. Swingers is very yeah. forgotten about, but yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I after I watch that, I call everyone baby for like <laughs> yeah. uh, the next twenty four like, hours. I love Vince Vaughn. Love yeah. Vince. Vaughn. Oh, dude, Vince Vaughn. I I always say my two favorite comedy actors are Jonah Hill and Vince Vaughn. Bro. I actually before I go into job interviews, I always watch like highlights of Vince Vaughn. Bro, my dad is Vince Vaughn. Like he is Vince Vaughn. Like it, yeah, yeah. You, it's it's so funny. Um, but you yeah, you, you need to rewatch Seinfeld or like it's so. Do you like Curb Your Enthusiasm? Uh, I mean, kind of the same thing. Like I, I really wanted to get into Curb Your Enthusiasm. I just can't really. Yeah. No, I hear you. It's no. I I mean, someone just asked me. I mean, we can kind of count this as a mailbag question. Someone on. Twitter just asked me uh, what my f- what the funniest sitcom in my opinion was. So I'll give you my top five fa- or funniest shows because that doesn't mean favorite, right? Yeah, yeah. So to me, the funniest shows that I've ever watched that are TV shows are uh, Entourage, um, Scrubs, uh, let's see, Blue Mountain State, and The League. Like, those four are the funniest TV shows. Now, out of those, I'd say Scrubs is really the only one that I'd put in the conversation of, like, best sitcom, you know, just because it has, like, it's much more than just a cheap joke, right? Yeah. I I love Entourage. That might be my favorite show, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't submit that to, like, greatest TV show of all time, you know? I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I would honestly put it in top 10. I love Entourage, and I think you and I need to somehow do, like, we need to, like, create our own Entourage podcast. Um, Dude, just, I just love it, bro. Start from, C, like, episode one and just go through. But Dude, um, that's what we can do in Florida. Let's just binge all of Entourage. Yeah, I do that in Idaho. Yeah, I'll freaking do it any day of the week. Hell, heck yeah. I'm just saying, while we're in Florida, if everything's <laughs> locked down, bro. 
I mean, we'll do that at 2 a.m. anyway. In Florida. <laughs> yeah. No, that freaking entourage is free. Yeah, my top three. Uh, yeah, I, I just have to go entourage. I have to go Seinfeld, entourage, and then The Office. Like, it just doesn't get better than that, man. I love just those shows. Funniest or, or favorite? Honestly, like, favorite too, because I don't. I'm kind of an idiot. Um, I'm kind of stupid. Like, I don't really. Comedy and sports is about, like, my two uh, limitations. I, like I, I like I tried watching House of Cards and I didn't get it. Um, and yeah. I watched all these smart shows and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I, I love The Sopranos. That's another great show. Um, I'm trying to think what else, but yeah. Dude, do do you like action shows like uh, like I mean James Bond, Jason Bourne type stuff? I hate Jason Bourne because I hate Matt Damon. Um, <laughs> I hate Matt Damon. I don't really know why. He's probably a good actor, but um, I have you ever seen the movie Team America? <laughs> I mean, I've seen I've seen clips from it. So they I've like make, they make all the clips that everyone in middle school watches. But that's it. Is it. The, it is the it is probably the funniest movie ever created. But they make fun <laughs> of Matt Damon in that in that movie. And I remember watching as like a kid saying, "Hey, yeah, Matt Damon sucks." And like after <laughs> watching it, and ever since then, like I don't like Matt Damon. But um, I. I'm not a huge NBA. I mean, not NBA. Um, I'm not a huge action movie guy. Um, I like mob movies. I don't yeah. know if that counts as action, but yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, have you seen The Gentleman yet? I know there's there's like three people on Twitter that every time I tweet about The Gentleman, they just like go after my throat because they just can't stand that I find this movie so intriguing. I have not seen. I'm still trying to make my way through The Irishman. Oh, dude, no, you gotta go see The Gentleman, bro. It is hilarious, and it's a mob movie, uh, but it's like, it's a, a freaking hilarious mob movie, but you still get that feeling like, you know at the end of Godfather when, uh, whatever the main dude, I can't think of it, Corleone, when, uh, it's Michael, yeah. right? When he when he does like his thing and and you just get that feeling where you're like, holy crap, dude, like, I need to do something like that, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um. Dude, there's it, you get that feeling at the end still, you know. I mean, it's I'm not comparing it to The Godfather, but I'm just saying it's still like that uh that quality in the mafia movies where they just like you know, they just gently and violently move everyone out of their way so that they can uh make all their money, you know. Yeah. I hear. It's good stuff, man. Okay. All right. Well, um okay, one thing I want to talk about with the Canes um or should we answer some mailbag questions first what do you think let's do some mailbag stuff okay. real quick sweet 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 so i i want you to ask starting off i want you to ask the question that your girlfriend asked okay my girlfriend bless her heart she's uh <laughs> did <laughs> okay so she's uh she's trying to be supportive and uh you know just be a great girlfriend which she is love her to death um so her mailbag question, Marsh, is what is the best game day food? So so what do you do on game day? Like you're prepping for a big game. Let's say it's Florida State or someone else. What what are you guys cooking or having ordered in? Um, well, well it depends on a lot of things. It um, like if I'm at the stadium, like we, I'm a big huge wings guy. Um, I came up and wings was always the the number one tailgate food uh, at the stadium. Um, so that, that's definitely up there. It also depends, like if I'm watching it from home, like in Utah, my father is a, an incredible cook and a legend around the neighborhood for some of the things that he's been, um, able to, to wing up in the kitchen. But it, it really just depends on what he's feeling. I know the Notre Dame game a few years ago, we did gumbo. Um, oh, you know, it, I, I really, amazing. yeah, it was amazing. Um, Dude, when I do horrible things for good gumbo. Oh, he, uh, it, it was really, really good. And then, I mean, he's a great, he's a great at cooking with Italian. And so, I mean, it really just, I mean, if I'm tailgating, it definitely, um, changes things. You know, I, I may, I'm fine with just going and get a, I guess you're not from South Florida. You don't get this yet, but getting a, a pub sub right before heading to the tailgate. I've done that many a times. Um, but really, I mean, cause I don't want to go into Hard Rock Stadium and spend $15 on chicken fingers. Uh, uh I feel you. It's awful, bro. Just wait, just wait. Um, but as ter as as far as like a like a like a game day snack, pizza's up there. I'm a huge huge pizza guy. But I love pizza, dude. 
you can never really go wrong, you know, as long as it's, it's comfort food and, um, you know, you got the game on.